Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar. Uh, today, we'll be presenting on how civil survey solutions can support you to efficiently implement Autodesk Docs, as well as the wider Autodesk Construction Cloud uh, for your organization. Just to begin with a little bit of housekeeping, um, so all of you will remain on mute for the duration of uh, this session. Uh, we certainly do encourage questions though, so feel, please feel free um, to ask us at any time. Um, just use the QA box um, at the bottom of your screens. Um, I'll answer your questions during a designated question time um, at the end of this session, uh, and then a recording of this session will also be made available um, and uploaded to YouTube at a later date. By way of introduction, uh, my name is Ben Hipsley. Uh, I have been with Civil Survey Solutions uh, for a little over two years now, uh, with prior experience working with firms such as uh, Opus Consultants, SMEC, and WSP uh, across New South Wales and Victoria. Uh, I've worked on everything from small council reconstruction projects through to large scale infrastructure projects, um, such as the Sydney to Brisbane. Pacific Highway Upgrade and the Victorian Level Crossing Removal uh, Project as well. Um, I've experienced firsthand the power of a, prop of a properly implemented uh, cloud document management solution, such as the Autodesk Construction Cloud, and the efficiencies it can bring to a project and to the wider organisation, whether that be for a small reconstruction project uh, or a large-scale large -scale greenfield infrastructure project as well. As an agenda uh, for the session today, so I will open up explaining what Autodesk Docs is and how it forms part of the wider Autodesk construction cloud. I'll then talk about the ways the software can benefit your organization and the issues in today's AEC industry that Autodesk Docs looks to solve. I'll run through an opportunity and risk analysis to highlight the importance of a properly implemented uh, Autodesk Docs solution and follow on to show you the options available to you as part of that implementation. I'll finish up outlining the services that our business can offer to ensure a correct and proper implementation for your organization. So what is Autodesk Docs and by extension, the Autodesk Construction Cloud? So when referring to the Autodesk Construction Cloud, we're primarily referring to uh, four different technologies, one of which is Autodesk Docs. As you can see from the image, Autodesk Docs underpins the rest of the Autodesk Construction Cloud. It provides a cloud-based document management and common data environment within the Autodesk Construction Cloud. At its most basic level, it provides an unlimited cloud storage location for all your common file formats. These files are accessible through a cloud environment using your browser or through your typical Windows File Explorer using the desktop connector. Further to that, it provides a higher level of document management and control, including versioning, file structure and naming standardization, markups, task notifications, issue and review tracking, amongst, amongst many other features. It also opens the door to the rest of the Autodesk Construction Cloud, namely BIM Collaborate Pro, Takeoff and Build. Now, I'll just quickly touch on Takeoff and Build. Takeoff is a cost estimation tool, so you can utilize 2D drawings or 3D models to quickly generate quantities and cost estimations with integrations directly into other Autodesk tools or even directly out to uh, Excel. Build is a construction management tool. It provides project safety and quality management tools as well as cost control. I'll talk a little bit more on BIM Collaborate Pro, however. So BIM Collaborate Pro provides advanced functions within your typical Autodesk Docs environment. This includes both design collaboration and model coordination. So by setting up a design collaboration team and storing your DWG files and references within the shared team environment, this will enable real-time co-authoring within Civil 3D. This can significantly enhance productivity and reduce data loss by ensuring all your team members are working on the same model. Through model coordination, you can then federate models from other software packages and disciplines and run comparisons as well as clash detection, similar to what you might expect from uh, Navisworks. So Autodesk and the wider construction cloud can be thought of as your central repository for data. All common file formats are compatible with the system, providing all of your teams throughout all stages of the project lifecycle with a single source of truth. 
Using Autodesk Docs, you do not need to silo your design and planning teams onto the system while your other project and organizational teams use another system, such as SharePoint, Google Drive, or Dropbox. With Autodesk Docs, your entire organization can store and access their data through a single source with unlimited file storage. So through a traditional project lifecycle, you'll typically face data losses and inefficiencies at each new stage of the project. I can think of many examples of starting the detailed design of a project from an improved concept design. The designers and engineers that put together that concept design would have spent countless hours planning and modeling their concepts. And then all I receive at the detailed design stage is 2D PDF drawings and a design report. We then need to start all of our drawings and models from scratch, often after also re-engaging surveying and geotechnical teams because there's been minimal data collaboration between project lifecycle stages. It is also, also a classic case in local government that is the eventual asset owners. You are restricted in the asset data and information that you're provided from subconsultants, which leads to further inefficiencies in the ongoing operation of the asset, as well as significantly increased risk. Now, what the Autodesk Construction Cloud enables you to do is to operate with a completely connected project lifecycle from start to finish. Your planning and concept data can be stored within the docs environment, collaborating between your varying internal or external stakeholders. You can manage viewing and access permissions for files and folders to ensure data security and sovereignty, while enabling critical information to be available for the relevant stakeholders throughout the entire project lifecycle. If you are the asset owner implementing this system, you can be assured that project data will always be ready and available for you with the appropriate security and controls in place. So we spoke about project inefficiencies, but how do we quantify that? So in 2018, 600 construction leaders across the US, Australia, New Zealand, UK and Canada were surveyed to review the efficiency of the construction industry. The findings were published in a report titled Construction Disconnected. You can see some key takeaways from this report here. Now, the key one I wanted to highlight today is on the right-hand side, uh, that nearly 96% of data goes unused in the engineering and construction industries. Now, that's a staggering amount of data loss and inefficiency, which leads to a large amount of rework and asset risk. By managing projects and data through a properly implemented common data environments such as Autodesk Docs, you can certainly go a long way in making this data more accessible and useful, significantly reducing project costs and risks. So what are some of the features within Autodesk Docs and the wider construction cloud that you can use to better control and access your data? Document management is typically the most important aspect of a common data environment. Ensuring you have permissions set correctly for all files and folders is critical for data access and security. Through Autodesk Docs, every file and folder can be set with varying permission conditions, which can be set per user, role, or at an organizational level. Permission levels include viewing access alongside download, edit, and upload permissions. So version control is another critical aspect of any common data environment. Through Autodesk Docs, every save you make from your desktop application creates a new version of that file. At any time, you can view a full version history of that file with the ability to compare versions and roll back, back to prior versions if need be. Now, standardization expands on the earlier point of document management. So standardization will typically refer to common folder structures and file naming standards each of which can be controlled through Autodesk Docs. So at the creation of a new project, a folder structure can be attributed to ensure commonality between all of your projects. At the same time, you can set your naming standards for each project. And you might also notice at the bottom of the screenshot there that there is the ability to control uh, your document upload through a holding area for any files that do not conform to the given naming standard or standards. This ensures consistency and efficiency of data storage across all of your projects. So markups can also be created and managed directly through the Autodesk Construction Cloud Viewer. 
This enables your markups or this ensures your markups are never lost or overlooked and can always be traced and tracked. You can also set up review and approval workflows whereby different users or roles are notified at their respective stages of a review process. Their review can be done within Autodesk Docs itself with the markups as shown prior together with issue creation, ensuring a high level of quality control for your projects. With the inbuilt markup issue and review functions in Autodesk Docs, you will never need to email drawings, models, or PDFs between team members or subconsultants ever again. Everything can be managed directly from the Autodesk environment itself. The final function I wanted to show you today is part of the uh, BIM Collaborate Pro add-on. Uh, and those of you familiar with Navisworks might see some commonality here. So you can federate your models from different disciplines to detect and resolve any clashes well before they become an issue on site. The example you can see here is a clash between some uh, drainage elements and a light pole. So the clash detection will federate models from different applications, could be from, say, Revit and Civil 3D, uh, which is very important as resolving clashes such as this is uh, far better to be doing in the design office rather than on site. So you have seen some of the features of Autodesk Docs, uh, but the next step is to understand how to adopt and implement it for your organization. Look, every organization has different standards when it comes to file structures and naming conventions, as well as different workflows when it comes to reviewing and approving designs. So I wanted to touch on the importance of a properly implemented uh, Docs environment by running through a simple opportunity versus risk analysis. So a proper implementation provides you the opportunity to uh, properly manage permission, permission sets for all of your internal users, as well as external stakeholders, such as subconsultants or even your client. This will mean the appropriate users have access to the appropriate information at the right time. Not implementing this properly risks data being accessible by the wrong people, or conversely, users not being able to access the data that they need to complete their stage of the project. Now, we've already seen the current state of data inefficiency uh, within the industry, and now a properly implemented Autodesk Docs environment will go a long way to break down these silos and bring entire project teams together through each stage of the project lifecycle. We can all think of plenty of times we have wasted trawling through our folders trying to find the file that we want. By properly implementing a clever folder structure and naming convention, this time wastage, wastage can be significantly reduced. Doing this will also greatly assist the setting of permission sets and ensuring data security. You have also seen how review and issue workflows can be managed through Autodesk Docs. An efficient review, efficient review workflow can significantly increase the quality control on your projects and reduce overall review timeframes. We're also moving to an industry-wide standard driven by ISO 19650. Many of us would have heard of the phrase BIM mandate, uh, which is becoming common, um, particularly in other geographies, um, ma mainly across Europe. And we are seeing it coming into the Australian AEC industry as well. These BIM mandates are driven by ISO 19650. So when establishing any common data environment protocols, it is highly beneficial to do it in line with the requirements set in this standard to ready yourself for the future. Adhering to this standard will also make it easier to collaborate with any external stakeholders in your projects, such as subconsultants, as you can all be working from a similar data environment. Our team are able to work together with yours to review your current document management processes and assist you implementing your docs environment in a way that is familiar with your existing processes, but can also conform to this standard. Now, I'll just run through some of the implementation options uh, more specifically. So out of the box, Autodesk comes with a number of roles. It is important to set all your users up with their correct roles, as this will allow you to assign tasks, workflows, and permissions to particular roles. So for example, you could set a two-step review process for a senior civil engineer to undertake an initial review, and then a principal to undertake the final review. 
We will assist you in implementing all applicable roles for your organization, which can then be managed at an account or at a project level. A project template is the next implementation phase. So this is the baseline that each new project will be created from. This is by far the most important step in any implementation process and will have a direct impact in how efficient your team is using Autodesk Docs. This will set the folder structures as well as review and issue workflows. Multiple templates can be set up if you have different ways of managing projects, say it might be by discipline or by project size. We've already touched on uh, naming standards, but it is similarly important to get this right from the outset. As discussed, a holding area can be created to enforce correct file naming standards before they are uploaded into your system. So it is important these standards are implemented properly and understood by your wider team. Reporting is important for any project team. Your data can be collated into reports in any number of ways. These reports can then be set to run on uh, schedules and distributed to varying users, roles, or organizations. Further to this is your wider notification settings. These can be adapted. So for example, your designers can have immediate notification of any issues that are raised on their designs, while the project managers might prefer to be given daily summaries uh, of these issues, which can all be automatically scheduled. While there are a number of other aspects of an implementation, the last one I wanted to touch on here was the integration options. So as you can see uh, here, there's a wide range of uh, integration options available through the Autodesk Construction Cloud uh, that they are either native uh, integrations or through ACC Connect. Common integrations are to accounting and project management systems or to other data environments such as uh, SharePoint, where an integration can, can be created so that say approved drawings and models can automatically be published across to um, an external SharePoint location, um, just as a single example um, of a potential workflow that can be established for you. So our implementation process. So uh, our team will specifically, um, or want to specifically ensure a proper implementation of your Autodesk Docs and Construction Cloud environment. Uh, we've spoken about how important that is. So our first step will be to review any existing documentation your organization has on its document management systems. This step will be for us to get a better understanding of how you manage your documents and data so that we can better be, be better prepared and streamline the rest of the implementation process. If your organization does not have these processes documented, that's still okay. Um, we'll skip that step and go straight to number two. So in step number two, um, our team will have a consultation session with your team to build a complete scope to fully understand what customizations you will require in your docs environment to make it as efficient as possible. We will be able to recommend workflows and automations to speed up repetitive tasks, and we'll document our findings from this session and then get final approval from your team before we start the actual implementation process itself. So this will then occur in uh, step three, where our team will build the required customizations and workflows directly in your ACC environment. The duration of this step is completely dependent on the scope of the implementation works. So while your docs environment can easily be accessed using a browser link, we can also assist in downloading the desktop connector um, for your users, which will mimic your docs environment in your Windows Explorer folders. If you're working with DWGs that you will be migrating into docs, we also recommend using the DWG migration tool, and we will assist in downloading and installing this for your users as well. Once all of this is done, we will then provide training for both your administrators and users. This training will be done specifically to your docs workflows and automations and be done within your uh, docs environment. So further additional support that, uh, that we provide. Um, so onboarding and user management, um, as we've spoken about, that is mostly the uh, implementation process um, that we um, just ran through there. Um, and look, we can also assist with any ongoing technical support. 
Um, so if you do run into any uh, access issues or bugs or anything like that along the way, our team are available to assist and support when needed. So a little bit more explanation on user training. Um, so this will cover all aspects um, users need to be aware of to properly use the system. We will uh, walk all your users through any additional functions such as the desktop uh, connector, which alongside providing access to your folders and uh, files through the Windows File Explorer can also assist in uh, troubleshooting and even uh, checking XREF and data shortcut links as well. And then we'll also train your admins to be able to maintain and manage your docs environments um, with any cloud environments such as docs. Um, it will typically need updates and changes based on uh, varying project requirements um, or new standards. So we'll ensure your admins are completely up to speed on how to maintain your environment uh, for your organization. Um, and as I've said, all of this training will incur directly with your, within your own docs environment as well. If there are any further questions, please feel free to um, reach me on that email address. Otherwise, I'd like to thank you all for your uh, attendance today. Um, and I hope you have a great rest of the afternoon. Thank you, everybody.